Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to set up MongoDB Atlas, a powerful cloud database and connect it to your Express.js backend using Mongoose. This is perfect for beginners who want to integrate a database into their projects. So let's get started. First of all, go for a browser. and type in mongodb atlas and go for the mongodb.com mongodb atlas official shell next sign in using however you want i'm going to go with google and select your account and continue And click on submit I will go with build a project I have in mind you can choose whatever you want you can choose uh, according to yours I'm gonna choose mine I'm gonna do use JavaScript You can select whatever you want. And I'm going to click on finish. Afterwards, is go now directly go for your cluster. If it doesn't go, you just go click on the i'll show you after entering your dashboard it's gonna show all the projects you have since i don't have any project it's gonna give the basic one it created as project zero if you want to create just click on new project and give a project name i'm gonna give it as express and click on next and project owner that's me you can also add other members using their email id if they have atlas account also next create project afterwards create a cluster after clicking on the create cluster, it's going to show you first select the option that you want. I'm going to go with the free one that is 512 MB and I'm going to give the name express as the cluster name. I'm going to leave the provider as AWS and region also I will do the same. Next I'm going to click on create deployment. Afterwards it's going to take time and it's going to add the username and password. I'm going to give a CWA and password CWA123. And remember this username and password is necessary. And create database user. Next, choose a connection method. I'm going to go with driver. See, it gives Atlas access your atlas data using mongodb native drives like node.js also if you have downloaded a compass you can use here so first select the driver i'm gonna go with node.js only you can check anything and version also i will leave it as it is i'm gonna see uh, i don't need this one next click on done still creating let's wait a minute
see uh, it is created our cluster next click on connect to the same now after creating it will give this one just copy it and keep it I will tell you why done next what you have to do is go for network access since it, it adds your IP your system IP only your system can access the data present in the app but we don't want to do that we want others to access like if you are using a uh, colleagues and all they want to access for that one click on add IP address and click on allow access from anywhere it will create this one and click on confirm afterwards it will show the status as still pending it's now it's active so anyone can access from anywhere now let me open the folder in VS code this is the one I used for express crude operation if you want you can see that one now I'm gonna create a folder name called app.js in df first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let me create this first I'm gonna install all the necessary dependencies those are npm i express mongoose and dot env i will tell you why dot env as we go in the now as it is loaded if you go for the package json it will create automatically if you don't create it you will see express dot env and mongoose also if you want you can also install the node mon also that is ntm i node mon if you are installing it for the first time do it like npm i hyphen g node mon you will install the node mon globally then again install node mon for your current project so next i will go for the app.js and here first I'm gonna import the express the express because we are using express to connect the mongodb to your backend next I'm gonna create a app instance const app is equals to express of afterwards I'm gonna call a port three thousand to check whether in which port my server wants to run and all next I'm gonna check whether that is working or not using listen the port number which I passed now if I go for the terminal type node node 1 app.js see my port is running on 3000 so it's working correctly now to connect to the mongodb i'm gonna import mongodb sorry mongoose and i'm gonna type the connection string that is mongoose dot 
connect of whatever we copied here right like if we go for the clusters and see here, click on the connect Oops. Click on the connect and go for here and copy this one and I'm gonna paste it here and instead of this one clear it and type your password mine was C okay, CWA123 so using that one then then I want to check if this connected correctly or not how to do it that is by clicking then it's like try and catch block if the connection is connected correctly it's gonna give connected to mongodb if not catch error and I'm gonna console the error whatever is error is coming so let me check it if I save, save it see my connection is secure it's connected to mongodb if I change here like password let me change it just type it, this one and I will get a error here see authentication failed because I gave an a wrong password Also, you can check it using testing or not something like app dot get response dot send hello world. Instead of hello world, let me change it to hello mongo db. It's gonna run. See, this is the reason I installed Nordmon. It's gonna run again and again if I say save the file whichever file I'm running it now to, uh, to test this it's working or not let me go for localhost 3000 see allow mongodb so it's working correctly perfectly now let me tell you why I installed the dot env package now if I'm using it like this and if I send it to any git manager like github anyone can access my mongodb data using this one so i don't want it to do like that so i want it to protect for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first type require require of dot env dot config first of all we have to go for the root of the project this is the root and create a file called dot env dot env here you have to type your mongodb uri see this is the uri and let me copy and paste it here same one now instead of writing this one we can just directly type process dot env dot whatever the name you are given here right you just copy it and type it here let me show you if it is working correctly or not this one the string is coming or not for that let me console it clg of see if i save it I was I shouldn't type it within a columns just I have to program send it directly clear it if I save it now 
see it's working correctly server is running on the port connected to mongodb see this is a string which we are passing now whatever secret or anything you are if you don't want to pass like ap keys and everything you should store it in the env file and you have to call it like process dot whatever the name you are giving so this way your sensitive data will be secure so that's it now you have successfully set up atlas and connected it to your backend so that's it for uh, this video guys thank you so much for watching it if you like this video give a like and subscribe will be appreciated